And without further ado, I would like to announce our first group. Please, this is their first show, so give them a big, warm round of applause for Attack! In Mountain View, California, exists the Winchester Mystery House. The house was originally built by Old Lady Winchester, who believed that the souls that perished at the hands of Winchester weapons haunted her. She went to visit a psychic, who told her that if she stopped renovating her house, she would die. <laughs> but how could she have possibly come to that conclusion? Ghost Congress! Making decisions in the afterlife! Ghost Congress! Everybody's dead because they are ghosts! No one feels a buzz just because it lasts forever! Ghost Congress! Some things you don't know, I like to 
breathe oxygen. Eating food, that's just oxygen. I have money at work, so I can pay the bills. That way, I can buy the products and start rising. My name is Scott, and I just need 4 to 20 hours to read a hearse. I got audiences that are killed, so I'm leaving in a hearse. Legalized green is what I roll. Next time you're on Aurora, then you'll know the horror. I'm the king of the troll. We don't say bitches. Unless we're quoting Jesse Pinkman. Science, bitches!
and gentlemen, we give you the governor of California, Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger, in his triumphant return to acting. He presents the President of the United States. We begin tonight with the father of our country, George Washington. Yeah, I cannot tell a lie. These are not wooden teeth. They are metal teeth. They are like the terror of the flesh of the British Empire. And America's first runner-up, John Adams. Yeah, Washington was good, but the sequel will be even better because I have multi metal teeth. <laughs> and a film that pursues the has the pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness, Thomas Jefferson. When in the course of human events it is sometimes desirable to take a big scoop of brown sugar. <laughs> Thank you. Transition. <laughs> okay. Um, we attack. We did a poll recently to ask people what we as a sketch group were missing. And the most common answer was, quote, any sign of sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> In an effort to change that, we now present to you Attack After Hours, <laughs> up and late at night, after dark. Sexy style. Wow, wow, wow. Almost there. Good, you almost got it. Just keep pumping it. Oh my god, you really know what you're doing. There. Okay, just flush it to make sure it works, please. Shh. <laughs> Space alien from outer space? You know our mission? 
heard about the space birds and the bees of Endor 3. There's a few things the holiday program leaves out. The alien is on the bridge. Don't change the space subject. Why do we explore space? To compensate for something? Imagine this dark out and you go into a space cave. Oh, always with the caves. That isn't some sort of innuendo. That's like two sketches ago. Uh, quite. Can I see in this cave? Uh, roll the D20 to find out. I'm beginning to think that nothing you say of is any importance. Of course it isn't important. It's space important. The space cave is really a space metaphor. Your metaphor is highly alarming. God, man, don't you know how to space knock? <laughs> space enter. Captain. Captain Space Explorer, go out, try again. <laughs> You're coming up. It's space blood, that's not mine. Yes, that man was a bloody red shirt, wasn't he? It's not very space nice to say. Enter. I did not say space enter. <laughs> space enter. Captain Space Explorer. Oh, don't worry about the protocol. Just spit it out, man. <laughs> I, I saw it. I was, so, I was so scared I couldn't space breathe. Of course you did, couldn't. You can't breathe in space. The alien! What is it? Space enter. The 
masters of life, the creators of the paste. All praise to the paste. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 300th anniversary of the day that we were all saved by that product that we all know and love, Tasty Paste. It tastes without the taste of paste. In 2015, environmentalist terrorists had this world torn apart by war, and lo, unto the people was this advertisement delivered. From the makers of asbestos, it's Tasty Paste. Oh wow, Tasty Paste, that's my favorite. Tasty Paste, it goes in your face. Mouth hole. That's right, Tasty Paste is now three whole brood, so it can go in your mouth hole. <laughs> I hope it comes my favorite shade of beige. Hey kid, Tasty Paste, come on. That's right. No blue, no orange, no glowy. That's right, Tasty Paste now comes in these delicious non-flavors. Vanilla, protein-free, and sweet, sweet lead. And for a limited time offering, we have Puce. Puce, no way. <laughs> yes, way. Tasty Paste is an IRS approved food stuff, which means it's good for you and your entire family. Hey, kid, one of your neighbors isn't eating Tasty Paste, you let a policeman know right away. Hey, Jeremiah, let go of my Tasty Paste. No, is it little Jeremiah? It's supposed to go to my mouth hole. Yeah. A member of the police or the militia? Then try Pasty Paste. It's Tasty Paste with mace. <laughs> oh, my eyes, I can't feel things I'm done. <laughs> tasty Paste, it goes in your face. Look for it in your local grocery store on the every aisle. Due to its low, low cost and wide availability, Tasty Paste soon overtook the market. The market was paste. Tasty Paste was so wildly successful, they had to change their slogan to Tasty Paste or Stop. We really miss the dough. We all miss the dough. <laughs> and now, here's a clip from a typical morning show in 2048. Tasty paste. <laughs> Why, it's as human as mutated apple pie. 
which I'm told is an early form of tasty paste. <laughs>